I'm gonna give him a little kiss before we start. I gave him a little kiss. Hey guys, Harry here. All right, so on today's video, we're actually doing something a little different. And for some of you that don't know, I've been a barber for about 12 years, but I haven't cut hair in the last two years. I'm in a different profession now, but I was talking to Libby and I was like, man, it'd be cool if we did a haircut video together where we both do the same haircut. And I kind of guide Libby on the direction to go with and to see how it comes out. So we have our mannequins here with a full set of hair, beard. <laughs> A full set of hair. It's been a while since I have done this, so we're actually gonna do a mohawk haircut. Mohawk fade. And have you done this before? No. No? I used to cut my own hair as a child. I would cut, I would just cut my hair. And that's how I learned how to cut hair. When I was a kid, I would practice on my own hair, you know, just trying to experiment. And I kinda, I screwed myself up a lot of times, but that's how you learn when you mess up. And you do it enough times, you kinda just get the hang of it. So. Libby's never done this. We're gonna get straight into this video. And I'm gonna guide her and hopefully, you know, I could be a good teacher. <laughs> but we're gonna start with this guy. And then once we do the mohawk, we're gonna do his beard. We're gonna make him look GQ. I feel like combing his hair is like when I comb your hair. He has lips. Can't see him underneath all that beard. And they got some eyes. I think if if people wanted to do this again, the next time we'll do a mullet. A mullet fade. What what did you end up naming your uh, your mannequin? Um Devin. He looks like a Devin when his hair's up here like this. Wouldn't you agree? Let me see. Cuz tonight. Yeah, he does look like a Devin. Mine I named him Xavier. Let me turn this guy's head a little bit this way. It's a little hard with these, these combs are a little flimsy. So we're doing, we're, we're going like this. I'm gonna start off in the back actually. Shit, can I start? Here we go. His head is getting loose. So look, boom. Whoa! Mind you, see the haircut's going like this, look. Like this. Okay. So we're following that shape. We are. You want to see that? <coughs> right. See that? I want to say it's easier to start at the back bottom like this. See, I'm holding the hair. Yeah. You see it? Yep. And then. Go like that. Are we debulking? We're debulking. Here we go again. Kind of looks like he has a mullet right now. Let me turn his head around. So my friends can see this. Whoa. So you, I'm pulling. Following the same shape. <laughs> see, I even screwed up a little bit. Huh? I went, I, uh, 
I went too deep into the scallop a little bit, but it's all right because I'm gonna fade it up. I'm gonna clean it up. So let me see. You pull this hair all the way over, right? See that? And then you go like this, and then hold on one second. Like right that, and then you cut zoom. Just go ahead and do your best. What do you mean cut zoom? Cut um this sideways. See how I lift it up a little bit? These combs are not the best. There you go. Right there. And you cut across. All right. And that same one, I move over here. There you go. <laughs> All right. Is you're good. Okay? No, you're good. No, is it okay? No, you're okay. I'm just laughing because. Right there? There you go. Because I haven't taught anybody in a while. That looks tore up. Hold on. I'm trusting the process. Trust the process. See, like this, so you could debulk that. There, there you go, yeah. Oops. There you go, you can cut all that. The comb won't grab it. Yeah, the comb's not the best. That's what, that's what we get for going to Dollar Tree. But yeah, it was my idea. I said, you know what, let's just go to Dollar Tree and get some cones. And these are so flimsy. But, um, ooh, I didn't think they were gonna be that bad, but yeah, they're really, really flimsy. You can do it. This you one? You can do it. There you go. Yeah. I think that's good for now. So then what we'll do next, we're gonna turn we're gonna turn the head around. Right? The other side. So you said you used to do your own bangs? My own hair. I would just chop hair. Chop? Chop hair. Why can't this guy turn around? He's Come real on. tight. He's nervous. Yeah, I remember one time I uh, attempted to cut my own hair and I screwed it up so bad and my mom's like, you wanted to cut your hair, you still gotta go to school. <laughs> and I went to school with a screwed up haircut, but I mean, you learn that way. Okay. Turn this so I can see his head. <laughs> right? Yes, honeys. You look cute. What's your name, him? Uh, what's your name him again? Devin. Devin. All right, Xavier's over here still awfully shy. How are you doing, Xavier? Good. I'm good, good. So then, let me guess, we're gonna comb this over? Yeah. Like we did the other side? Cause what that's gonna do, it's gonna give you a shape of a nice V. So you, boom, boom. Like this long hair here on the side by the sideburns. Think about it like, um, well, we're gonna trim his beard down, so you could cut that if you want to just cut it and get rid of it. I just grabbed a little chunk like this. And just, you know, swipe through. that bad of a job, to be honest.
it going? I think I'm doing pretty good. Let me take a look. There you go, so you got the shape. You look cute. You look cute, baby. <laughs> it actually looks kind of cool. It looks like a, a mullet. Yeah, like... it does look like a mullet. Wow. I want to get on that beard so bad. All right, so what we're going to do now, let's grab the number, we'll do a three and a half. Devin looking cute, baby. Three and a half? Yeah. And half is made by this thing right here? Yeah, so, so this is the number three, right? The lever can move, right now it's down, but it could go up, down. When it's down, it's a three. When you move the lever up, it's a three and a half. So that's three and a half. So this is what we're gonna do here. Get that one side ready. Man, I'm a horrible teacher today. God, so you my know how hair we... all over me. <laughs> no wonder people don't sit down and cut hair. You know what's crazy? A lot of uh, hairstylists they um, they wear the nice clothes, but the hair gets stuck in your clothes and it like pokes you even when you even when you wash it. A lot of it, the hair gets stuck and you it, it'll poke you. So that's why you see a lot of hairstylists they have the uh, the smock and it covers your your clothing, which would have been a smart idea, but we didn't have enough time to go pick up a smock. Next time we gotta do the Edgar. Oh my God, the Edgar haircut, I hate doing it. Um, it's just time consuming. It's, you have to be patient. You have to really know what you're doing because at the Edgar haircut, any little slip up and the haircut's ruined. I want to get his beard out. See like right now, look at, I, right now he's choppy. Have you noticed? But look at mine, look how good mine looks. Wow, that looks good. Now it looks good though. Wow. Watch mine come out like the worst here. Like you could actually be done now. He and... looks cute. <laughs> I'm trying to get his beard out of the way. Okay, I'm ready for my next instruction. So we got. The... I think also because the scalp on these things looks weird. So three and a half. Three and a half. Look, and we're gonna follow. <laughs> his beard, man. And then we're gonna follow this shape like this. So watch me do it first. Okay. I'm gonna start here, like by the ear. It looks so blunt. What was that? Mine just looks very blunt. Up at the top, right there. Yeah, because I'll show you a technique. So see how I have it flesh right here? Yeah. I debulked mine a little more than you did, so that's why yours is blunt. So don't be scared to um I'm scared to put it on the head. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what to do after that. What you could do. Fireworks. It's still flicking at the wrist for me. That's good. No, you're doing good. I'm copying off of you. So let me see something. So this part here, what we're gonna do is. I'm gonna, I'll do it with you. I just wanna turn his head a little bit so you can see. You can wet the top a little like this, just wet him. Are you parting it? 
little bit. I'll show you what I'm doing once I'm done with it. Oh, I just sprayed Xavier in the face. He's looking hot, bro. So, see how you did that? Here, let me come over here. He's sweating profusely. So you did a good job here. So what we're gonna do is. What's that noise? Somebody's outside. All this hair right here needs to be. Cut. Like clipper over comb. So now that it's wet, if you wanna use your scissors, you could do it. Forward or backwards? What was that? Do I pull it forward? No, 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 no. So what you're going to do is here. Like that? Let me show you. The comb, you want it like this. Okay. Hold on. And then like this. Okay. And then like this. So think about it. You put it in and you pull it out. There? So okay. like this? So, can you see this comb? This one. It's because you want to get it close to the scope. So here. Here. Here, don't be scared to, to dig in there. So you dig in there and then pull out. Dig in there, pull out. How's your pull out game? My pull out game, I wanna say it's good. And I'm not trying to be bossy, I'm just trying to help you here. No, I'm glad you're helping. That's the point of this whole thing. I don't like these errant hairs here. Pull out. I see people and they have these scissors and they put their finger around it. But for me, it's more comfortable to hold the scissors like you are. Get in there. Yeah, I'll do it with the scissors also. Let me get I my scissors. I got Devin looking hot as Ugh. I'm not trying to brag, but I got Devin looking fresh. Fresh as I mean, I don't know how you know when you're done cutting. So this is what you're gonna, we're gonna do now. Grab your three and clean up underneath again. So, so short because his skull looks funny. I know. <laughs> I'm taking my he one. He looks hot, man. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, your, yours looks good. You, it's longer on, on the sides, but I like it. It looks good. This one, I went a little too short on his scalp, which on a normal head, it would look good, but since his scalp is obviously fake. I'm getting all itchy now. I need one of those things to get hair off of people. How you doing, Xavier? How you doing? Good? My dad used to take me to a barber shop to get my hair cut. An oh, actual barber shop? Mm hmm. It was downtown St. Louis, and it was a lady that did it. And she did the, the bowl cut. That's what I remember always. Wow. Getting. 
and it would look fresh. As soon as I walked out of there, it'd be perfect bowl. I'd get home the next day, that bowl would be tore up. Pieces of hair sticking up here, over here. My grandfather would take me to uh, his barber shop. My grandfather would get a flat top. And I never liked the flat top. It looked good on him, but I just never liked it myself. If I would move just a little bit, he would grab my head, like, stay still. But what I liked about the barbershop, they had these, these hot, these cuffs with hot foam inside, and they would put it around your neck, lather it up. Even the little kids? Yeah. And then they would uh, use a straight razor and start um, shaving the excess hair off. But the crazy part is that that's when I got intrigued by the straight razor. And I've been using a straight razor to shave since I was... Well, I started practicing with it at like the age of 14. By 15, I was already like a pro with a straight blade, with a straight blazer, with a straight blade razor. Man, that barber would grab my head and I couldn't complain to my grandfather. My grandfather would say, well, don't move. <laughs> if you want, you can wet the hair a little bit. I'm laughing because I've never struggled with so much. Usually you tell the customer, you just grab the customer's head like soft and move it in, in the direction you want. But this guy's neck is stiff. <laughs> So we're gonna do a V in the back. So that's what I, you see this hair hanging in the back here? We're gonna deal with that at the end and blend it in right here. So it's supposed to go like this. Show them. It's supposed to come down like this in a V, here into a V. Yeah. Got any plans this weekend, Devin? Really? That sounds like fun. Hey, Xavier had a long week at work, so he just wants to get the hell out of here. She's not into chit-chatting? Not too much. She's a little on the shy side. See, it seems like I don't even need to guide you over there. I'm just watching you and doing what you're doing. Oh my God, there's so much hair on me. Ah! It's horrifying. Oh, he looking fly as F. You got a nice hairline up there. He's looking me deep in my eyes. It makes me uncomfortable when you stare at me like that, Devin. I'm gonna be <laughs> real. Devin makes, I mean, uh, Xavier makes me uncomfortable that he doesn't ever talk, really. The most I get out of him is a nod. <laughs> He's just trying to relax. This beard gotta go, brother. Look at my guy. Look how handsome he is. Oh, he looks good. I know, isn't it? Would, would you take, would you uh, go out on a date with him? Oh, for sure. <laughs> would you go out on a date with me, Devin? That's the question. Imagine going on a date with, with somebody that doesn't talk the whole entire day. <laughs> oh God, no thank you. I think you would still enjoy yourself. You would crack yourself up. I'd just leave, I wouldn't sit there. And no, I'm saying if it was, if it was him, you would probably answer for him. Oh yeah. Like, how's your dinner, Devin? It's good, thanks. Yeah, that would be good. I thought you meant with just in, a regular guy that- In real life? That uh, didn't say a word. It's like, what are you even doing here, bro? Ooh, damn, he looking fresh. He looked like he had a hair transplant. Yeah, he sure did. 
There's hair in my bra, dude. On the, on the camera. <laughs> it looks like I screwed him up, but it's promise you it's not me. It's the damn hair. It's the mannequin? It's the mannequin with the weird sculpt. It looks like, oh my God. They're gonna think I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Cause <laughs> I shouldn't have went so low with it. <laughs> I wanna get this man's beard going. Let's start here. Where's his chin, man? Are, are you using a guard at all? No. You could use the comb to like pull the hair down like this to hold it straight and then you dig through. It looks like a bowl cut beard. <laughs> What we should have did was I should have just let you cut my hair. Uh-uh. You crazy? I ain't trying to screw up your hair. So I'm gonna freehand this beard a little bit. How are you doing, Xavier? All right, I'm gonna cut this around his lips first. And then, uh... <laughs> just to get it out of the way. Wonder if he would like a, um, a Brett-style mustache. If, if he doesn't speak now, I'll forever hold your peace. <laughs> on the head. Looks creepy like that. Um, freehanding it. The and lips, man. Oh, 
is so funny. The fucking beard and mustache. Look at him. <laughs> it looks good though. It just looks why don't like you, Why don't you ask, uh, ask uh, what's his name again? Who? Your, bar, your customer's name. Oh, Devin? Devin. Why don't you ask him how he likes it? I don't have a mirror to show him. I want to say he probably does, because he would have said something by now, or... I want his beard to look like yours. God, all this hair! What if I gave him a goatee? You could if you'd like to. But it won't be... Oh, but you're gonna, you know what? It, you, you'll still see the hair, you yeah. know? Yeah. I'm sorry, but that haircut is phenomenal. For my first time giving a haircut, it's messy. His lips are kissable. Are you kidding me right now, the world? I think I'm in love. I've heard of sayings that they say that men are more loyal to their barbers than they are to their women, suppose. And I want to say, I, I think that's true. Well, that's really because sick. a lot of a lot of a lot of uh, customers, once they find a good barber, they'll stick with you for years. These these guys like pretty much um, that makes have a sense bond because they know what you like and exactly. You kind of have to start over when you. Not only not only that, once you build trust with your customer, a lot of times you know they vent to you, you know whatever happened to them during that week or problems that they have in their life. So these guys become like really good, really close friends. Do you have a favorite, did you have a favorite customer? Well, I had a few and they were the ones that would tip me the most. <laughs> but um. Makes sense. But you know, some some customers expected more than others, which is fine. But um, you know, it's just you just have to deal with it and have good customer service. But there's been times after a long day, you get that customer that's really picky, and you're like, oh man, I gotta do this guy's hair. Did you ever do women? I did women, like. Maybe um, even cuts, not like layers, you know, just kick, uh, cut the points at dead ends. Um, there's a lot of women that would go into the barbershop that would get uh, men fades. So a lot of women would go to the barbershop, get their eyebrows done. Straight razor? Yeah, which I don't recommend getting your eyebrows cleaned up with a razor. You can, but it makes your hair grow back a lot faster. But some girls would um, would go to the barbershop just to get a quick touch up with the razor. I just couldn't take all that standing all day long. That'd be ridiculous. I mean, I used to be able to stand like that, but I mean, that's just standing all day. My guy looking fresh. Ooh, he needs some product. Devin needs product. Damn, he hot. Damn, he looking fresh as fuck. <laughs> stupid. Oh. <laughs> stupid it, looking beard. It looks beard. good though. Damn, you gave him a bath. I let's, like it. Let's wipe his. Let's wipe his eyes. Close your eyes. I can't. You want to close your eyes? I can't. All right. Just clean his eyes. He's crying. So I can pretty much cut your hair now. Is what you're saying? Um, I mean, we can attempt to. Hell no. <sighs> I'm itching so bad. All right. Let me. I ain't touching this man's hair. Let me even out the top. Well, I'll tell you this much. Yours looks pretty good. For first time attempt? <sighs> the beards, dude. Hope
hope you like your haircut, Devin. It was my first time. <laughs> and then, <laughs> you go like this. Dude, I can't get over how hot my guy is. There we go. Oh, his side of his skull. See how it goes into a V in the back. Just turn him around. How you like it, Xavier? Mm. How you like it? Good? Mm. You good? You good? You good, brother? <laughs> All righty, that's there he goes. Not too bad, not too shabby. All righty. You want to turn? You turn them around and show them the back. He's actually smiling. He's smirking. He's loving it. It's not too bad. It's just both of, both of ours is gonna look like this, choppy, but I promise you, it's not choppy. It's just a scope. Hey! Hey! Help! Help! Someone help! Where's my twin brother? They they compare the two brothers. Well, let's get, let's. All right, this is Harry checking out. Peace. Peace.